Fermin battered the Crystal Coast late Friday night into early Saturday. An unwelcome visitor to start off the long Labor Day holiday weekend. But Hermine's presence didn't stop some from their planned beach weekend. For Gary Ratliff, it was a slow go getting here. Some of those gusts were, were probably 50 mile an hour because it was blowing me from one side of the road to the other. Overall, the damage in Atlantic Beach was pretty minimal. It was like I was expecting. A typical tropical storm, tides a little bit up, a um, little bit of beach erosion, but nothing spectacular. But for some, the waves churned up by the storm came as a surprise. It's really crazy. I didn't know that it'd be this big. So what do you think about going out there and surfing in that? I would never do that. Jack may not be up for any surfing, but these guys are. While this group tackled the waves, another little guy was doing the same, stealing Hermine's thunder in the process. That was the coolest thing that's happened. Um, I've never seen a baby, baby sea turtle actually hatch or be on the beach at all. Many here, including the baby turtle, are looking forward to a much quieter second half to the weekend. It's going to be nice. I mean, this is going to pass, and then, you know, there's always great weather after after hurricanes. What's not expected to let up is the waves, heavy surf, and a high rip current risk expected to linger at least the Labor Day holiday. In Atlantic Beach, meteorologist Pierce Legion, not on your side.